Nick Leckie is talking with us, former K-State offensive lineman, former NFL offensive lineman. Darren Sproles, your former teammate at K-State. He's on the NFL All-Decade team, both as a player offensively, as an all-purpose player, and then uh, on special teams for his returnability. What was the first time you realized when you saw him at K-State, like, hey, this is a dude that has a chance to be that kind of a player in the NFL? So what they did, like, the first night of camp um, is so you have your two practices um, in August, and then at night, Scotty and his team, Scott Eiler, will will put together, like, uh, everyone who incoming – uh, signing class, JUCO, high school, uh, their, their high school highlights. And we all watched Sproles' highlights, and I remember just seeing him like, oh, my God, this dude is just just, just absolutely dominating this football field. And so then you get on the practice field, and, you know, obviously you come in as a true freshman, you start out, you know, the bottom of the totem pole. And I think he was on the scout team or, you know, running with the, 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 like the scout team for a day, maybe. And they were like, all right, you know, you've seen some moves, and let's come over here to the, uh, the, the big time, to the ones and twos. Um, and so, yeah, it was pr- pretty quick. And just, I mean, just he's such an awesome player. Well, I always heard so much about his strength, which, I mean, you can tell. Like, there's the highlight of Nebraska where he's just pulling the guy yep. that's dragging him down by the jersey. But even, like, some of the cuts that he's making, I mean, the strength that that takes. Like, wh- how much could this dude lift? Like, what, what was Darren Sproles squatting when he was in college? Man, I think I think it was you know someone asked me on Twitter and we did safe squat multi rep maxes and I think he was like eight hundreds or nine hundred seven eight or nine hundred so you know you're on there doing um, twelve wheels so you're doing six forty fives on each side plus the uh, plus the safe safe bar or the, the the safety squat bar and you're doing those like ten or twelve times so it's it's a lot of weight and a lot, a lot of movement. So I can't, even, I can't even do that math. But, yeah, you just put on six, seven, eight wheels each side and just you rep that out for as much as you could. I mean, but like, yeah, he was, yeah. was he out squatting you? Like, was he out squatting the offensive line? Um, he might have out squatted a couple guys. Um, he did not out squat me, though. Um, damn near close, though. Like, real close. Um, to me, pound, pound for pound, running backs and linebackers are the strongest people on the team. Like, pound for pound. But when it comes to overall strength, I think, you know, squats, you know, D linemen, um, O linemen, and then running backs, running backs, they're all kind of the same. Nick Lecky. Nick Lecky talking with us here. What, what's the worst you ever saw him like embarrass somebody in practice? Oh, man. Just, I think, just honestly, there's too many. I, I'd say just the worst was just um, when that O uh, to USC, when he put that on the field. When you know that one, where it's just with you know he was pushing that tackled in backfield. He made three guys from USC miss. I think that's when he gained center stage. But then we saw that on such a, a regular basis that it really you know stopped becoming a thing, right? Because he just he just embarrassed everybody, and he just knew what he was going to do. It always seemed to me, and I heard people say this, like, "Hey, that that's really one of Bill Snyder's favorite players of all time." Like, could you tell that that's one of Snyder's favorites? Oh yeah, if you want to talk about Snyder's favorites, it's. it's Simino, Tinu, and Sprolzy. That that that's that's the the pecking order for sure. And then uh, you got to put in Mike B. In oh there yeah, too as well for sure. But yeah, I'd say those were yeah the the prodigal sons. Um, and I'd say Simino. I just got heard a story that um, I think it was like a Missouri game or something like that where he actually said Mark Simino played a perfect game. And for, for Snyder to say that about anybody because it was always like you know you can always do better. Like that was like okay that that's his you know, whatever. And then, you know, that's who all of us strive to be, too, right? You strive to be that perfect player. That's great. I mean, that's that's like anti-16 goals. I feel like that's sacrilege for Bill Snyder. Yeah, I say. know. I know. That's why it always impressed me. But it made sense because, you know, Seminole had that work ethic and, you know, he played hard and, yeah. So he was at bell cow. But you know what's brosy, though? I think if you look at that 01 running back room and you had Josh Scobie, who's a hard runner, you had Joe Hall, and you had Rock Cartwright. And I think that those guys really should get a lot of credit for developing Sprolsey, uh and for bringing them in and for, for teaching them how to run, teach them how to carry the rock, teach them how to work, because all three of those guys were, were hard workers in the weight room. I mean, those guys were monsters in the weight room. Yeah, and you, so, you know, that's the genesis of Sproles. Yeah, you include Scobie and Carr. I mean, that's three guys that played a decent amount of time in the NFL that were in yeah, one, one running yeah. back room. and guys who have workout warriors, too, and guys who just – you know, they practice as hard as they play. And then I think that was that, that MO, you know, that, that was how they, how we operated was that. 
So, yeah, so really if you want to break it down, you look at that. I mean, uh, those guys, I mean, Scobie, Rock, Joe, those guys were fearless runners. And, and I think that's what, what Sprolsey has. Is, you know, he's, he's got that confidence in himself and made, made our job easier as offensive linemen because all you have to do is you take two steps, you occupy your D lineman, and Sprolsey is already hitting that line of scrimmage and he's already passed you. So, you know, that makes your job so much easier. I'm going to ask you a question I've wanted to ask for a while. I don't think I ever asked you this. What what was the best team that you played on? Was it the 2003 team or would it have been 02? I'd say 02. Yeah, I would say 02. And I'm only saying that because 02, um, we had T. New and Terry Pierce. So, you know, I'd say 02, yeah. Yeah, just because we had those guys on on that team. Um, oh three, we just came together at the right time. Um, everyone stepped up, um, and then uh, with with O two, man, yeah, we had some really good players, and you know, uh, I mean, just yeah. But the the, the on defense, you get T- Terrence Newman and Terry Pierce at linebacker, and that to me would be the the best team. I think the O two team would beat the O three team. I like it. I think you just settled a lot of uh, like old school bar debates there with K State fans because I I, I, th- I feel like there's <laughs> well, a I lot think of everything's fluid. You know, I'm, I'm like the guy setting up shop in the in the park with a um, with the sign that says O two is better than O three. Prove me wrong. So I'm, I'm open for uh, discussion on Twitter. Exactly. Hey, I love it. Uh, what it's it's just at Mr. Lecky on Twitter, right? That's correct. Okay, at Mr. Lecky on Twitter. If you want to debate that uh, with Nick Lecky.